Hey guys, it's Cody from Podcast Masters. Once again, uh, I just wanted to show a little feature in Logic Pro that I use almost all the time when I'm editing podcasts. And it's on most audio software, most digital audio workstations, DAWs, and it's called Shuffle Mode. So um, if you're in Logic, you can follow right along with me. If not, the process is similar for other programs. You just need to kind of find where the settings are. Um, up here in the upper right hand corner, I have a menu, it's called the drag menu. And this basically just defines when you drag files around, how they get positioned and how they move and where they end up. So standard is overlap or no overlap. I'm not going to explain those cause that's not what I want to talk about, but that's usually what it defaults to. And I use shuffle mode. So basically what this means when it says shuffle L shuffle left is that if I delete anything, if I take this out of the middle, it's going to push everything on those tracks together so that there is no dead space in the middle. And this is the main way I use it. So let's say I'm editing this podcast. Um, I don't want this comment in right here. So I have, you know, I have two guests, one's talking, one's answering. Um, but if I want to cut out this comment, I'm just going to highlight the entire thing based on the waveform. And if I delete this, it's going to push the rest of the files together. So they immediately jump so that there's no dead space in between. This is one of the most handy things that I do when I edit. So like um, spots where if, if people are talking, they take long breaks. If I would go through and I want to just have it like a smooth conversation, I just take out any pauses like this, highlight some of the blank spots where I can see there's no waveforms, delete, and go through, delete that, delete this, boom. And then this is basically what I do. I run through the episode as I play it make sure everything sounds clear, concise. And this is cool because then my clients listen back to it and then they see that they think they had an interview where they were talking slower, like stuttering or taking pauses. And now it sounds like they um, spoke completely fluently like the entire way through. So it really is uh, reflects well on them. They sound like great speakers. And it's a uh, pretty simple tool that I use in Logic. And uh, Pro Tools I know has this and I'm sure other DAWs have the same or a very similar feature. So just thought I would share. This is what I'm working on right now. So hope you enjoy.